as a website owner, if you want more traffic on your web pages, on your website, the best thing and easiest thing you can do is to optimize your content and your blog posts for SEO. And in this video, I'm going to give you 11 easy to apply tips that you can do right now today on your website and your blog post to optimize them for SEO and get more traffic. Let's begin. The first tip I have for you today is to conduct proper keyword research. Most beginners start writing content because they think they know what the user is looking for. But seasoned marketers and SEOs and content experts conduct keyword research because they understand that that is like conducting market research for SEO. When you find out what keywords users are looking for, you can get an insight into what they are actually looking for and understand exactly how to deliver it to them. Now, instead of just going to random tools and get using guesswork to write content and figure out keywords, you can use actual tools that are designed for this job. One of the best tools you can use is SEMrush. It'll give you tons of data on the keywords that your users are searching for, give you insights about your website, and also help you write better content. And if you don't want to pay any money, then WP Beginner's free keyword research tool is here for you as well. Just go to the link in the description or the link that you see on the screen and you will have a completely free keyword research tool designed for you. Just enter a couple of keywords, click search, and then you will have all the sorts of suggestions, uh, searches made with prepositions, questions, and all the different keywords that users are asking for available to you right here on your screen for absolutely free. Use that data and then figure out what users are looking for and only then start writing and optimizing your content around this topic. The second tip I have for you is to use semantic keywords to optimize your content. What is semantic keywords? Let me give you a quick example. If I make a search for best wireless earbuds, I'm getting a tons of results here. But the most important thing as an SEO you should be paying attention to is scrolling down and figuring out this part, related searches. Because this is where Google is telling us that whatever we search for, best wireless earbuds in this case, is also closely related to this. That means users who search for this information also search for this information. Now, this gives you insights into how to write better content. And if you want to create separate content for any of these blog posts, that is also very, very useful. If you're using WordPress and you don't want to conduct this research manually every time you're writing blog posts, just use all-in-one SEO. It has a fantastic focus keyword tool built in where you write your keywords, connect your website with SEMrush and all-in-one SEO does the job for you. It finds all the related keywords, the LSI keywords, the semantic keywords for you and suggests you right here on the screen so that you don't have to go to Google search and figure out these keywords yourself. It's a fantastic tool. Check out SEMrush, check out all-in-one SEO. And of course, if you do want to do the manual research, this process is available to you. On to the next tip. The next tip I can offer you is absolutely very simple, but very, very effective. Write better headlines. Now, seasoned marketing professionals understand the importance of headlines. Your users or most of your users will read the headline and then decide if the rest of the piece that you've written makes sense. Similar thing happens on Google. If I take my example of best wireless earbuds, the title of the blog post is the most important for me to make a call if I want to read this blog post. Otherwise, I can't make any decision. So when you're writing any piece of content, make sure the title is absolutely optimized. Now, thankfully, you don't have to take any guesses on what makes an effective title. You can get a fantastic tool like all in an SEO to help you and guide you through the process. It has a fantastic tool built in, which is called the headline analyzer. All you have to do is write the blog post as you usually would, and then just enable the headline analyzer. And the headline analyzer will go into action and give you an overall score on how good your headline is. It'll give you details about how effective it is in terms of the word choice, how long it is, is is it the right format? Is it evoking the right emotions? All that good stuff, all that recommendations personalized to your content and headlines will be available for you. And the best part, it's completely free to use with the free version of all in SEO. So install all in SEO, make sure to go through all your previous blog posts and use the headline analyzer to optimize the headlines because that enough can make or break the traffic that is coming to your website. On to the next step. The next tip I can offer you to write better and optimize content is to make internal linking a habit. Why is internal linking important? Let me tell you. Internal linking, first of all, is a very underrated thing that most beginners or say even seasoned professionals when they're making their websites forget about. Now, it benefits the users and SEOs, that means search engines alike. Why? Because users can find the right piece of information right from the article. So it keeps them longer on your website, helps them consume more content, and it's more likely that they'll become customers or take whatever action you're trying to get them to do on your website. That's the first benefit. The second benefit is from the SEO perspective. When search engines come to your website, they discover content through the links you have on your website. So if you have internal links pointing to the right pages, search engines will discover those pages, and more importantly, 
contextually connect those pages together. So if they know what pages are connected together, they'll show up in search or related searches and they'll direct users to the right place automatically in search. So it's absolutely important that you have right internal linking on your site and also make internal linking a habit. Now, if you have a very large website, it can be very difficult to create internal links at scale, manage them and optimize them. That's where all in one SEO's link assistant come into play. It's a fantastic add-on to all in one SEO. Once installed, it takes over the entire process of internal linking. It'll give you detailed reports about what you're linking to, what domains you're linking to, broken links, suggested links, and fantastic just reports. It's a fantastic, fantastic add-on, and it saves so much time, which you would have spent to find out internal links. And that's one of the benefits of using all in one SEO. So check out all in one SEO and the link assistant tool, and you'll never go back to manually creating internal links, especially if you have a large website. On to the next step. The next step I can give you to optimize your blog post for more traffic is quite simple to implement. Just use images and videos. And you already know the importance of using images and videos. Heck, you're watching a video right now because you are trying to get educated about a topic. Many people prefer blog posts, but a lot of people prefer videos. And if you're using videos and add them to your blog post, you're giving them best of both worlds. They can read the piece of content that you've written, they can watch a video, or they can do both at the same time if they like it. And if you add images to your blog post, it logically divides your blog post. It keeps the engaging and also some images or I'd say an image is worth a thousand words. So sometimes a single image can communicate the message that you're trying to communicate with an entire blog post. And the variety of tools that we have now available with WordPress, the block editor, Seedprod and other tools, they'll help you easily create not only templates about your website, but if you just want to add a couple of images and videos to your website. We have created multiple tutorials on the topic on how to add images in WordPress and how to add videos in WordPress and what mistakes to not do when you're adding videos to your WordPress website. We'll link some of those in the description of this video and as end cards as well. So after you finish watching this video, make sure to watch those videos as well. It'll help you understand and optimize your blog posts. The next tip to optimize your blog posts for traffic and SEO is to write meta descriptions and add open graph tags to your blog posts. Let me explain what these are. In my previous example, when I was making the search best wireless earbuds, I talked about the importance of the title. But what's next to the title? It's this section. And this is the meta description of the page, which helps me decide if they are covering all the important headphones or head wireless earbuds that I want to search for. And this is what the meta description does. It's an accessory to the title. And after the title, that's the most important thing on the page that you can add to make sure that your users actually figure out if they want to click through your website. So it's absolutely important to optimize it for SEO. The second thing that I was talking about was open graph tags. Now you might have noticed that whenever you share links on social media, they just don't get shared as simple links. The social network automatically detects information about the specific page you are sharing and that displays it on the page like a rich card or something. How does that happen? That happens with the help of open graph tags. Now, you'd understand the importance of meta descriptions and open graph tags. How do you add it to your WordPress website? Well, completely easy to do with all in one SEO. All in one SEO has fantastic tools built in to create new meta tags edit it, modify it, and optimize them to your heart's desire. It gives you a live preview of how your meta descriptions are going to look like, gives you suggestions how to optimize it, and also what's the ideal length for the meta description. And you can also see a live preview of how your page will look like when you optimize your page with the right meta description. Inside all in one SEO, you can also optimize and create open graph tags. That means whenever you or users share your content on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, even WhatsApp, rich cards will be displayed for your pages, which means that other users will be able to see detailed information out your blog posts. And it's generally a best practice to have because it also helps the social networks understand what your page is about so they can point the right users to that content. So optimize your meta descriptions, write them in the first place if you don't do it, and also add open graph tags to your pages. The next tip I can offer you to help you optimize your content for SEO and more traffic is to make them simpler to read. When given a choice, most people will pick the simpler route rather than the difficult route. And that happens with articles as well. If you have an article on the topic which is simpler to read and one is which is harder to read, most people will pick the simpler article to read. It doesn't matter what your target audience is. They can be PhDs, highly intellectual people, but you should still optimize and simplify your blog post if you want to get more traffic. Now, there are a couple of ways you can do that. First of all, practicing how to talk in simple language is the easiest way. So when you write the content, it'll come out simple. But if you have a habit of, let's say, complicating it, making it more difficult to read, or if you don't understand if your content is difficult or simple to read, there are a couple of tools I can recommend to help you identify and also optimize and simplify your blog post. The first one I can recommend is is the Hemingway app. I'll leave a link on the screen. And what you have to do is just copy and paste your article right here. 
And once you paste your content here, this app will give you a lot of details about what's your paragraph length, how complicated this is, how simple it is if you're using passive or active voice, and overall, how simple is this copies of content to consume for the audience. Now, if you don't want to copy and paste your articles back and forth from your website to Hemingway, all in one SEO has a great readability indicator, which will give you details about how long your paragraphs are, how readable your text is, are you using any complicated words, and are you using active or passive voice, and right there you can get recommendations about how to optimize your content for SEO as well. So not only will you be able to simplify your content, but also optimize adding the right keywords, optimizing it for SEO. Whichever app you pick, Hemingway or built an all in SEO, that's completely up to you, but make sure to simplify your blog post and add the right keywords, and you will have more traffic in no time. The next tip to optimize your blog post for SEO is to use tags and categories and taxonomies to organize your content. Now, everybody prefers organized things. If they want to search for something, they would rather have something that's organized rather than disorganized. Let me give you an example. This is WP Beginner, one of the biggest websites in the world when it comes to WordPress. Now, think of this. If I go here, I can find exactly the kind of information I'm looking for, and it's very well organized. If you're a new user, start here. What are the best deals you can score for hosting? Where's the video section? What are the product section? And what can I find on the blog? And each of these are actually categories that you can find on a website. We will give you detailed information about that specific category. So if I go to the theme section, you will find all the content about themes. Same with tutorials, plugins, beginner guides, news, and opinion pieces. And if you go here, this will give you detailed instructions on how beginners can get started with WordPress. So this content being organized makes it very easy for any user to find the information they are looking for. And if you organize your content the same way on your website, your users will thank you. Because if they're looking for a particular piece of information on your website and you have covered it, they'll probably look for more information from your website in the future. So if they get to know that this information is present on your website, next time they might not make a search. If your content is good enough, they might just come back to your website, bookmark it, or even share with others. That means more traffic for you and happy and satisfied users and who doesn't want that so make sure to use taxonomies that means categories and tags to optimize and organize your content for more traffic and happy users the next tip i have for you to optimize your content for more traffic is to aim to rank in these featured snippets now what does this mean now google is the only company in the world or only website in the world which does not want its users to stay on the website longer they want to give the users the answers they're looking for as fast as possible and in this quest they introduce new features in search all the time one of those things that they've added recently or i say a few years ago is featured snippets now what does this do or how does it affect you as a website what google aims to do especially for how to related questions is answer the question right in google search rather than people going to the website let me give you a practical example if i go to how to or if i search for how to register a domain name you see the information right here available on the screen you can just use the steps and actually register your domain name so for most how to queries if google can understand the page they'll use this kind of a snippet and display it in the search results and users can just find the information and instantly just take the steps and get the job done. So if you're writing pieces of content and you want to rank high in the search results and get featured snippets, then you need to write in a way so that you can answer a question in a few different steps. So whenever you're writing a blog post around how to do something, make sure to think about the user and think about the experience that Google gives them in the search results and write at least one paragraph or a couple of paragraphs answering those questions in a format that Google just can look at and then instantly put in the search results. Now doing this will won't guarantee that you will get the featured snippets, but it'll increase the probability by a lot that your website will be picked for feature snippets in Google and other search engines. So make sure to do that and enjoy more traffic and happy and satisfied users. The next tip I can offer you to help you write better content which is optimized for SEO which gains more traffic is to write in a comprehensive manner. Now, some people might think that this is conflicting advice because I said, hey, make it simple. Now I'm saying make it comprehensive. Well, simple and comprehensive are mutually exclusive. They can both exist at the same time. Something that's comprehensive doesn't mean have to be difficult and something that's comprehensive can be simple as well. So let me give you a practical example. We recently wrote a blog post on how to register a domain name and get it for free in 2024. Now, you might think that we, we can just cover this kind of information in five steps as I showed you in the snippet previous example, but what we did was we made it extremely comprehensive. Not only we go into details about what is domain name, when do you need to register a domain name, how to choose the best domain name, how to get a register or how to do register a domain name for free, we go into a lot of detail that most people or at least people searching for this information will find benefit from. So if I scroll down, you'll see not only is this just information on the screen, we are using illustrations, 
images, videos. We're giving important statistics for the users to understand and also help decide how they can choose the right domain name for the business or the website. We will include a video which explains all these steps in a more visual manner. And once you go through all this information, then you come to the steps on how to actually register a domain name. And it just doesn't end there. We give you complete details here. We show you the step by step with illustrations, arrows, no stone unturned when it comes to this information. So even if you're a newbie, you just know how to use a computer and you're trying to get a domain name registered, you can find this information and you will have no questions about how to get this job done. And that is the meaning of comprehensive. And if you're paying attention, even though this is very, very comprehensive, it's actually very simple to understand and follow. And that is what I mean. Make it comprehensive. You can still keep it simple. So make sure your blog posts are simple, but they're comprehensive. That means it answers all the questions that your users will and might have about your topic. The last and the most important tip I can give you to optimize your blog posts for SEO and more traffic is to keep them updated. Most beginners focus on writing more content, but if your content is getting outdated and it's factually incorrect and it's not optimized for the latest trends, latest things that happen, then your content will not rank in the search results. And even if it ranks, then users will come to it, figure out that's an outdated piece of content and then never return to your website. So don't just focus on writing new content, also focus on how you can keep your existing content updated. Just as an example, at WP Beginner, we spent considerable resources spending time and effort and human manpower to make sure that every piece of content that we have on our website is up to date with the latest changes and updates that have happened. That is why millions of people trust us to find reliable, trustworthy and accurate source of information on the web when it comes to WordPress. So if you want to become that kind of an authority in your space, make sure that you write new content, but also keep your existing content up to date and optimize it for SEO with all the tips that I've given you. All right, which of these tips was your favorite? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe to all that good stuff. You're watching Yuvraj from WB Ganner. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.